Hello everyone and welcome. This topic today will be about setup and linking with wireless DMX. First thing we are going to go through is DMX configuration with the app. It can of course be done with the backside display the traditional way and afterwards we are going to link to our Astero box which is also a CRMX transmitter and also after that we are going to link to a second universe wirelessly. Now before we can start configure the lights here with the app we of course need to pair the lights. So we need a Bluetooth bridge such as an Astero box could also be a BTB light connected with your app and then blue mode the lights so we can pair them to the app and configure the lights with our Astero app. One thing that's important to say here also when pairing the lights, let's say your intentions are to use multiple transmitters to run the lights off wirelessly, whether it's 48 or 100 lights, just pair all the lights to one and the same app and configure them in the same app all together. After we have paired the lights to the app, a reset and unlink CRMX is highly necessary. The light contains a lot of settings and we want to start from scratch. We also never know if they have been linked to another transmitter, then the Onlink CRMX will also make sure that we start from scratch. Now the backside display resetting and unlinking CRMX can be a fast way when you have a few lights, but doing it with the app is more efficient with you when you have a huge amount of lights. Once the lights have been paired, we can go out of the main menu and go to the list of connected lights, which is the tab on the very left side right there. I have my three lights paired to the app and we want to reset them all. Now we could do it one by one by clicking into the lights details and you will see reset lights and unlink CRMX. We can go back here as well and we can mark the icons on the left side, hold one of them down and it will mark all the lights you have paired to the app. When we mark more than one, a little magic wand will appear top right corner. Click that one. Now we have three lights selected. If you have 48 or 100 lights connected, you can still do this. Now what we are going to do next is press the reset lights, press yes, and then also press the Onlink CRMX. And this is basically starting from scratch. Now we are back to the factory settings in the lights. And we also made sure that we are not linked to any other DMX transmitters. Checking if you have the latest firmwares in the lights is also important. However, if you see that the lights are updating here in the app, it's doing that completely automatic in the background. So let's say you are in a hurry and you think that the update is stopping you for operating. No, you can just operate and let the background update do its thing. Now to check if there's updates, we can head back to the main menu, the three lines up in the right corner. Scroll down and find app settings. Up on top you will see lights background update and here we can see if the lights are up to date or out of date. I have one here which is out of date, one of my tubes laying here on the table and that will automatically start sooner or later to update in the background but doesn't mean that I cannot hook it up with a CRMX transmitter or use them with the app. This will simply just happen in the background. There's another tutorial about updating firmwares and app Go find that one and get all the details about updating your Astera lights. Before digging into the DMX configuration with the app, it is important to understand what the Astera box is all about. Of course, when we have the lights paired with the app using the Astera box or a BTB as a bridge, then it also sends feedback such as battery state, we can change DMX addresses and so on. However, it is two systems that happen to live in the same box, which is completely independent from each other. Now the same goes for if you would for instance use a Lumen radio transmitter and also have the lights paired with the Astera box as a Bluetooth bridge. You can still do it, just pair the lights, you can still configure, you can still see the battery state, plug the Lumen radio into your lighting console, still working independently from each other and everything will be fine. The app here will sort of just work as a troubleshooting tool so you can change the MX addresses, maybe you want to change a patch in the console, still using the app here even though the Lumen radio is connected with your lighting desk. Now there are different ways to configure DMX and the traditional way is of course from the backside display, find the profile, set the DMX address, maybe even a fixture number, set all the parameters and then it will of course work like that. 
From the app, there are two ways. The one way is through the list of connected lights, and the other one is with the DMX configurator. And these two methods, of course, have their advantages, which we will come into just in a few seconds. Now, we can also set fixture number from the app, but also directly from the backside display. There is a separate tutorial about fixture number. Go find that one if you want to learn everything there is to know about fixture numbers as well. Now, using the list of lights from the app here can be a good thing if you just have a few lights. We could, for instance, go to our light settings, then we can set the DMX address, we can choose the pixel count, we can also choose strobe, and we can choose our profile as well. Now, if you want to do it a little bit faster, of course, this way, when you have a few lights, will work very well. Mark the whole list again, go to the magic wand. Next thing to do here is, of course, to set all the parameters that you need for your DMX setup. So it can be the pixel count, for instance, with the tubes here. We can add strobe. We can change our profile to the one we want. Next thing is to give them the DMX address. Now, in case you, for instance, mark eight lights, you will also see up on top I have three lights selected. When we take the left box here, we can give it, for instance, let's say 40 hit the return button, and then all the lights here will have the same DMX address. Now, if you want to give them separate DMX addresses, we can also use auto address. Let's say we want the start address to be one. Maybe we add a little fixture number here, press the send button, and then it will simply address all the lights we have chosen here with start address number one. Now, what you see in the display is that this has number one, next one 25, and then 49. What I said about using this method with a fewer lights might make sense because it randomly addresses the lights how the alphabetic order is in the app, as you see right here. This is also the reason why I say that this might be a good thing if you just have a few lights. However, if you, for instance, want to say, OK, DMX address number one, this is the one we can highlight it and then we can sort them out just like that also in a quick way. Now, once you have set the DMX address and all the other things on the lights this way through the list of lights, the last thing you have to do is go to this auto button also highlighting blue now. Now, to enable the wireless DMX, we go down to CRMX, and you will also see the lights going out now. The fixture number will be displayed big, but of course only in DMX mode, wired DMX or CRMX. You are actually now ready to link with the Estera box or a CRMX transmitter. Now, before going into linking transmitters to the lights, DMX configuration is also a thing I want to show you, which is the second way in the app. This method is good if you have a huge amount of lights and, of course, before you mount the lights, because we can do everything from here, set it up with the app, with the lights next to us, just laying in a row next to each other, and then we can mount it afterwards. Fixture number is, of course, also a part of the DMX configurator. Now, the DMX configurator is placed in the main menu. Open the main menu, go down to Actions for all lights. Up on top, you will see the DMX configuration. Go in there. Here is a lot of parameters that we need to set before giving the lights the actual DMX settings. So, choose the lamp type. I have two Helios tubes here, so we are going to choose that one. Here we can say start address, in my case, 1. And fixture number this time is not necessary. If you need it, you can, of course, type in the fixture number after your own desire and give the lights a fixture number as well. Now, here again, profile by number, it's already on 42. But choosing profile by number just have all the parameters such as pixel count, strobe on off and all these settings. Before pressing the send button, we also need to have a look at the input select. Press this one and press CRMX wireless DMX. This is, of course, when we want to link the lights up to a wireless DMX transmitter. Once all the parameters here are set, press the send button. You realize now that the lights here start to flicker. That means that we are ready to give them the parameters or the DMX settings we just configured in the app. First light, press the enter button simply just like that. Now it has address number one. In the app, press the plus 24 up on top. Then we can go to the next light. Press Enter, plus 24 again, and press the Enter button. So you see whether you have 48 lights, 80 lights, having the lights next to each other aligned just makes it fast and easy. It's some sort of a concept with plus Enter, plus Enter, and have everything configured maybe within five minutes. Once this is done, we can press the Done button, and you will see again the fixture number what we gave in before will be 
this played big here because it is in a DMX mode. Why are DMX or CRMX? After we have done all this configuration with DMX, we are now ready to link our Astero box with wireless DMX to our lights. Now, one thing that's important is that we cannot just press the green button to link the CRMX. When it comes down to the Astero box, we need the DMX adapter cable, put it in, and you will now see that the CRMX part of the Astero box becomes active. Now, normally, if you would be on set right now with a lighting console, you would just plug this in, you would have DMX right here, and the lights, once we link it, will pop up with the signals right away. But if you are at the warehouse prepping for a set or maybe for a gig, then you can just plug in this cable, press the link button, and once you come out on the job, plug it into the lighting desk, and then they will also display a signal. So you can prep without a lighting console as well. Now the lights have been configured through the app, and we have also plugged in our little DMX adapter cable. Now I have a console on the side here, and I just plug my Astero box into my console right there. Afterwards, I just press one time on the green button to link. You will also see it's blinking in the link LED diet right there. Now it's linking to CRMX and you will also be able to monitor this from the app. Sooner or later, you will see signal strength is also shown in the app. So this is the way to link your Astero lights with a CRMX transmitter, whether it's an Astero box or a Lumen radio transmitter. The cool thing is that we can monitor everything from the app CRMX signal. So the farther away you go, it will also change the signal so you can see how strong the signal is. So that's the step of linking a transmitter to the Astero lights, including the configuration with the app. Just choose which way you prefer the most. Now, sometimes it's not enough just to link one universe. Maybe we need to add multiple universes. Maybe we use some DMX profiles that are so big that only allows us to have maybe eight tubes within a universe. Maybe we have 24 lights, so we need three universes, two, etc. What you see here on the right side is the recipe for adding multiple universes. We can, of course, use the Astera app, adding and pairing all the lights to one and the same app and configure all of them. But once it comes to linking with CRMX, this is what you have to do. Turning on lights in the first universe, linking that one, having all other lights turned off, and then you continue turning on the lights in universe two, etc. Now, even though we just paired these Helios to one CRMX transmitter, I just unlinked the CRMX just to start from scratch linking the first universe and then linking the second universe. I cheated a bit, so I have already given all the DMX parameters I want to all the lights, and that has been done from one and the same app. Now, my three Helios tubes right up here is the first universe. So what I'm going to do is these three Titan tubes, which have to be in the second universe, we now switch off. Now we can take our first transmitter, the Astero box in this case, press the link button. Now it will link to the first universe with the three tubes. And once we are paired, as you see also with the signal strength, as mentioned before, we can now turn on the lights which we want to have in the second universe. Now we already configured those. It's just important to keep the universe you are not pairing turned off. Now, since the three Helios already have been linked to a CRMX transmitter, they will not just pair up to another CRMX transmitter. So what we can do now is take our Lumen radio transmitter, hit the link button, wait, and then you will also see that they get paired in the app. So here you will see with the three Titan tubes, which is in our second universe, is now paired as well. And we can also see the signal strength right there. Now, once our universes have been linked to our transmitters, or maybe one transmitter, depending on what kind of setup you have, we can use the app to monitor battery state, signal also of the CRMX signal. We can diagnose lights, we can highlight them, find them. So this is more for after when we mounted them. We can sort and filter, and we can configure DMX addresses just as we did before. The cool thing about using the app as a troubleshooting tool can be we have patched a light wrong, maybe a light have a wrong DMX address, then we can go in here and also highlight. You will also see the lights reacting to it, then we can find it once we mounted it, 
go into it and then we can change the parameters and the DMX here, even though we are linked to a CRMX transmitter. Another thing is that we can go up to this little icon in the top right corner, then we can go sort and filter maybe even by DMX address, and then it will list the lights with the lowest DMX address to the highest DMX address. So just keep in mind that you can use the app on the side as well as using CRMX to do some troubleshooting when you have a wrong DMX address or you want to repatch something in your lighting desk and you want it to match up with the DMX address given to the light. Now talking about linking CRMX transmitters to the light and even with multiple universes, there are some limitations. When we talk about the Astero box, we recommend maximum two at a time just to avoid interference. One Astero box is of course one universe. When using a Lumen Radio like this or a Nova TX2, Lumen Radio recommends up to a maximum of eight universes. So guys, this was the MX configuration with the app, even multiple ways. So just choose the way that suits you the best and also linking with one universe and two universes of wireless DMX. Thank you for watching.